What up, everybody? Boo's Haven back at you with another review. Today, we got Caribou Crossing Single Barrel Canadian Whiskey. I'm Terrence. And I'm the Philip. And this is about to be a golden ticket for y'all. Look at this box. This is sick, dude. Um, haven't opened the box yet. We haven't even seen this bottle yet, except the picture on the side. I'm going to show you. So, Philip is about to crack it open and tell us a little bit about it. All right. Well, there's a little card in here. That'll help me tell you a little something about it. Yeah, read the card too. If I can fucking get it out. Let's go. Side. Uh oh. It's pretty fucking cool. While he's opening that, as always, drinking whiskey out of a tumbler with some glass. Dude, this is cool. I mean, with some ice, not some glass. That was stupid. We drink our whiskey with fucking glass. Dude, has a bag. What's on the bag? Oh, dude, that's way better than any crown bag in the world. Look at that bag, too. Oh, it's way more velvety, too. Oh, they got the wax oh, on the fucking top. Look at this cap, dude. Fucking caribou on there. Oh, good. Oh, that's sick. That's pretty. Look at this bag. This is great. It'll always go in that bag back in the box, right? The wax on the cap. I, I like the wax. Yeah. Is it just twist or is that a? No, you got to pull. Oh, the, there's two pull tabs in the bag. Oh, I see. Okay. Pull cool. one in each. Or are you going to tell them about it before we crack it yeah. open? They gave me one of these. I'll read you one of this first. All right. The flavors are straightforward. Primary vanilla with some creme brulee, toasted marshmallows, tangerine, peaches, and cream, and a gentle rye spice. But they are clean and well balanced. A delicious, lighter, delicious, lighter style whiskey. I'm so excited for that, by the way. Let's see. 2015 World Whiskey's Award. Overall winner. Are these the medals? Yeah. All right. It's got. It's won all kinds of awards. Our last one only won one, so this should be good. Wine Enthusiast Magazine, 91 points, 2015. 2015 Ultimate Spirit, Ch Spirit Challenge, 91 points. Excellent slash highly recommended. 93 rating John Hansel, Malt Advocate Magazine. Uh, double gold medal at the 2014 San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Uh, the Doucet actually only won one gold medal mm -hmm. in 2015, yep. San Francisco. In case you missed the last one, you should check that out. Yeah, go check out the Doucet. And then it got a gold medal for 90 rating exceptional at the Beverage Tasting Institute. I'm excited. I'm so excited for this one, dude. This is the one I'm most excited about. I was so excited about the download when we first got it. Right. I get one tab, you get one. Keeping the bag out. Oh, yeah, check the bag out again real quick. Right here for you. Yeah, we'll give them a close view of the bottle, too. Yeah, do that, do that. Um, it has this sick... Oh, dude, even the... The thing on the front, like all oh, the same shot on the like in the it, label. Oh, something like that, dude. This is sick. Um, so you got Caribou Crossing real big on the front, and it tells you single barrel Canadian. Got a couple Caribou on the side. It looks brass, dude. Or bronze. That shit's bronze. Yeah, this is like some bronze, brass, whatever cap, dude. And it has a fucking moose on it, and that's sick. Um, the back also says some stuff. It says Caribou Crossing Single Barrel is painstakingly handcrafted by our ex. By our expert whiskey making team who have personally selected the finest whiskey available. The result is a Canadian whiskey unequaled by any other patently, patiently aged, smooth, and exceptionally flavorful. Caribou Crossing is available in limited quantities at select stores. Dude, so this is only limited, limited. Like, Good. you can't just buy it tomorrow if, it, if they ran out. Right. Good. That's how I like sick. it. That's um, sick. I get one tab, you get one tab? Sure, Terrence. Oh, that came out that beautifully. Was awesome. That was sweet. Let's get another one just to open it. Okay. <laughs> Take all this off. That's cool. Good we'll touch. put that in the box. Good touch, Kirby Crossing. I like that. In the cat. Philip, crack it. Ooh. That's, a, that's the best cap also. Oh, sweet. Mm. Whiskey. Yeah, you definitely get the whiskey smell. Oh my. It's, it's, dude, vanilla. Get the oaky. You I get, get a lot vanilla. of vanilla. Oh, I'm so it's excited. I'm so excited about this. Alright. And as always, you never pour your own glass. Mm. 
two cubes today. Yep, we're going to try to finish a drum this time. And as you notice, we got this cool little tray. We had it in the Duce video. Um, we just got this, and nice touch to the videos. Definitely. It's good on the nose. Dude, it's much lighter. Ooh, it is. That's so good. Smell the oakiness. I think that's with everyone now. Yeah. Unless it's that Oloroso sherry shit that the Delmore was cooked, <laughs> cooked in, aged in. I think I'm ready to taste that. I, I can't wait for this vanilla creme brulee, peaches and cream. I'm yeah, pretty pumped. I'm excited for the peaches and see how that tastes. Stink it. There it goes. So, going down. It's a little bit of a sting going down, yeah. but once it hits the back part, once it gets past the back part of your throat, it's just smooth. It um, it's definitely much sweeter. I, for some reason, I kind of feel like a, a cinnamony flavor to it, and that's weird because it didn't say anything about cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely getting the cinnamon too. Are you it just got maybe, there? You know, <laughs> maybe it's the uh, probably the creme brulee. Yeah. It's like caramelized sugars and mm -hmm. shit like that. We got a surprise for you with this too. Yeah, we got another video coming out. I didn't even see that. You see like the uh, yeah right there? Yeah, I showed it to him. Cool. Yeah, it's sick, dude. This has definitely got my chest warm. Oh yeah. But not as fast as the others that Swish we it. reviewed. Swish it. Try that. Okay. That was pretty intense. Not even lie to you. Is it worse than than when we did do say swish? Oh no! Oh oh no! I do say swish and it was rough. This is better swish. I'm the swish. This is better. Have you took a straight shot of this yet? Not yet. Try. It's got mm -hmm. a good mouthfeel when you swish it. Does it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think I like it better swishing it. Really? Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste bad, but... It kind of burns your tongue. It's got like a... It's definitely much, much lighter. Yeah. Than other whiskeys and like cognac we've had. The cognac was that was rough. That was rough. The Dalmore was kind of rough too. The Dalmore was rough, and so far this is definitely the lightest we've had. Would you buy it again? Not for aesthetic views, not for looks or anything. As the whiskey itself, would you buy it again? This one, honestly, I would, there's a good chance that I would buy it. I would buy it again. Same. I'm, I'm about 75, 25. It's 75 buy it, 25 is not. Yeah. Now, I, if, if I seen, if I went into the liquor store just to buy a whiskey that I wanted to try or something, and I know I've had this before, not, not expand my horizons, but just get a whiskey, I would probably get something new before I bought that. Yeah. Yeah. I would recommend it, though. Yeah, I would, I would definitely recommend it. One to five. One to five. Yeah. With the aesthetic aesthetics with it. All yeah. in the play. I'd give it a solid three point eight. I think with the aesthetics, with the cap and the bag and the box and everything. With that, four. yeah. I'll give it a four. I, mine's definitely a four it and is, a half. It was it was beautiful. It was, oh, that was yeah. smooth. That, all that, it yeah. was definitely a four and a half to me. And I got it on four. Flavor alone. I'm probably giving it a four. Yeah. A flat four. Yeah. Same here. I like I like the idea of four. I'll definitely round it up. Yeah. Definitely a four, a solid four to me. For sure. It just gives me the cold chills, which that's, I mean that's I feel like that's all dark. Yeah, all whiskey does that. It gives you the kind of the uh mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, for real. But it's good. That's how yeah. you know you're drinking it. You already know I'm not just pushing up my lips and being like, oh, I'm the best. Yeah. 
shit. That's good. That's good stuff. Recommend it. If you ever see this at your local liquor store and you're looking for a new whiskey that you haven't tried, definitely pick up Caribou, Caribou Crossing. Crossing. It looks good. It tastes good. It's all around a, a good whiskey. But that was Caribou Crossing. This is Terrence and I'm Philip. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And let us know what you want to see and what you want to hear. Also, don't forget to go check out the other videos. We'll leave a in the little eye, I think it's in this corner right here, the left corner. When you're looking at the, when you're looking at YouTube, it's in the right corner. But to us, I believe it's in the left corner. It's Click it. Flip everything. We will put one of the videos in there for y'all to see. But thank you for watching this video. Click the like button. Click the subscribe button. Don't forget to give us some suggestions of some top shelf for us to try. Peace out.